taarifa za kuapishwa kwa rais William Ruto. Rais William Ruto amechukua hatamu za uongozi leo akiwa na ahadi chungu nzima kuboresha uchumi wa taifa, kusitisha matumizi mabaya ya afisi za umma pamoja na kuboresha uhuru katika idara ya mahakama na asasi husika za serikali. Rais Ruto ametangaza kuwa kibarua chake cha kwanza hii leo kitakuwa kuidhinisha rasmi majaji sita ambao waliopitishwa na tume ya huduma za mahakama yani JSC ambayo walikuwa hawajakula kiapo kutokana na pingamizi za mtangulizi wake Uhuru Kinyata. Kufikia jioni ya leo taarifa tunazozipotea tunazozipokeza hapa KTN News zinaarifu kwamba majaji hao sita watapishwa rasmi hapo kesho. Hii ni kulingana na taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari kutoka katika ikulu ya Nairobi iliyotumwa dakika chache zilizopita. Ongeze. Baada ya miaka ya kujinadi kwa wapiga kura na ahadi chungu nzima haswa zile za uboreshaji hali yao ya kimaisha na kiuchumi Rais William Samoei Arapruto hatimaye amechukua hatamu za uongozi akiahidi kutimiza ahadi zote I promise to throw open every door of opportunity and to keep every door open until success stories become the norm rather than the exception and urge all other leaders to do the same so that we can together expand opportunity and chance for many of our citizens na huku Ruto akijukumika kama rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya kutoka kwa mrithi wake Uhuru Kenyatta aliyeshuhudia malumbano makali na idara ya mahakama Ruto anaonekana kubadilisha mkondo huu wa mahusiano Ruto sasa akitangaza kuidhinisha rasmi majaji sita waliopitishwa na tume ya huduma za mahakama JSC ambao walikuwa wangali kula kiapo kutokana na pingamizi za utawala wa Kenyatta. This afternoon I will appoint the six judges already nominated for appointment to the Court of Appeal which was done three years ago by the Judicial Service Commission. And tomorrow I shall preside over their swearing in. Ruto aidha akitoa hadi chungu nzima kuboresha uhuru wa idara ya mahakama na taasisi husika za uongozi ikiwemo idara ya usalama na polisi. Financial independence of the police will give impetus to the fight against corruption and end the political weaponization of the criminal justice system kwenye kampeni zake Ruto alikuwa ameahidi mgao wa shilingi bilioni hamsini kila mwaka maarufu Hustlers Fund kuboresha biashara ndogo ndogo ambazo ni asilimia tano ya biashara zote nchini Ruto sasa akitangaza utekelezwaji wa hadi hiyo miongoni mwa majukumu yake katika siku za kwanza ofisini our immediate agenda is to create a favorable business and enterprise environment decriminalize livelihoods and support people in the informal sector to organize themselves into stable viable and credit worthy business entities this is the essence of the bottom up economic model isitoshe ruto ameahidi kubuni jopo kazi kuchunguza upya mfumo wa elimu nchini wakati maswali yameendelea kuibuliwa kuhusu mfumo wa CBC maswali mengine aliyoyazungumzia Ruto ni uboreshaji kilimo na utoaji fedha wa mapema kwa serikali za county for the short rains we have already made arrangements to make 1.4 million bags of fertilizer available at Kenya shillings 3500 for a 50 kg bag down from the current 6500 Taifa sasa likisubiri kwa hamu na gamu orodha ya mawaziri kwenye serikali ya Ruto ambao ndio watakao kuwa wasaidizi wake kutekeleza ahadi zake kwa Kenya Muremi Mwangi Kitia News na mtazamaji taarifa ambayo tulipokea dakika chache zilizopita kutoka ikulu ya Nairobi kuhusiana na wale majaji sita ambao wanatarajiwa kuapishwa hapo kesho imeendelea kusema kwamba majaji hao ni majaji wanne wa mahakama ya upewa ambao ni Weldon Korir, jaji Agre Muchelule, jaji George Odunga na vile vile jaji Joel Ngugi, alafu wawili ni katika mahakama ile ambayo inahusika sana na mizozo ya 